Hi there, GoodGolf here, with a short tutorial on Vegetation Studio. It has been a while since my last video, because I haven't been able to spend a lot of time on Unity-related projects. However, I'm still working on a series of videos on networking using Forge and Azure, but that's for later. Today I would like to give you a quick overview what's so awesome about this Unity Terrain Vegetation tool, Vegetation Studio. And awesome it is! It will allow you to create Unity terrains with a lot of vegetation without bringing your game to a grinding halt. So let's get started. I already created the terrain using Gaia, CTS, Aquas and Enviro. As you can see, I only used the terrain texture spawner and left the grass and tree spawners alone. To add a Vegetation Studio to the terrain, simply go to Window, Awesome Technologies, Add Vegetation Studio to the scene. Next create a folder, for example Vegetation, and create a Vegetation Package. Select the option with no textures, since we are using CTS, and add a package name. Start the vegetation system with the big green button. Hard to miss. Add the vegetation package created earlier to the available packages, which is marked red in the inspector. Go to the settings and set the water level to 50, which is the default water level for Gaia. If you skip this, grass and trees will spawn below the sea level. Now add the vegetation. Grass to 2D grass. Trees or speed trees, whatever you have. Drag these to tree. And rocks to objects. Select the vegetation item to make some changes to the spawning rules. For example, rotate XYZ for rocks. Set colliders for trees and objects. And you can also reduce the density if a scene gets too crowded.
there's a ton of extra options, and one of them is to keep the vegetation away from objects. For example, add a sphere, and you can clear the vegetation close to it. By adding a vegetation mask area, and moving the handles to clear the area around it. One of the other options is the touch bend system for grass, but unfortunately I haven't been able to get that one to work yet. I must be missing a crucial step here. Ok, so this is still Unity we're talking about, and terrain does need optimizations, even when you have a Vegetation Studio added to it. However, the result will still be stunning. You can optimize performance of the scene with a few simple steps. Ensure the render mode is set to Instance on all vegetation items. Bring down the number of trees to a reasonable density, for example 0.3. Check the render settings. Ensure Use Instance Rendering is checked. Use the Compute Shaders. Use GPU Culling. Optimize Aquas. Add a layer for grass and plants. In the render settings select this layer for the grass and plant layer. In Aquas select the caustic projectors, both the primary and the secondary one and set ignore layers to this layer. Ok, that's it for today, and I will leave you with a short demo. As you can see, you will have much more less vegetation when using Vegetation Studio. Yes, it's a fairly expensive asset, but it's definitely worth the money. The frequency for creating new videos will be lower than last year, but hopefully soon I will be able to create a few networking related videos. If you want to see some more Unity related videos in between, then why not tune in into the Messy Coders channel. I've added a link at the end of this video. Ok, that concludes this short video and I hope you liked it. If so, then please upvote this video.